All right, here we are in my kitchen, folks. Check it out. That's regular tap water used to fill that up for the control greenhouse. Nothing more, nothing less. When you hit that valve, it goes into the steam distiller, is what I call it, with steam injected water. Pours right in. This over here is overflow valve, and that's filling up the experimental watering can. Now, yesterday I showed you about vibrational unit, sound unit. This organic solution came with it, and it's only meant to be sprayed on the leaves. This is pre-mixed, 6.0 pH. The distiller creates a pH of 4.5 water. I mix that with the tap and the solution, and I get a 6.0 spray. That's for the experimental. All I'm doing is I'm going to water all this steam-injected water flowing out over here. Let's see if we can see the steam coming out here, folks. That's just overflow valve. Here it comes. See that kind of shooting out there. Now hold on one second. All right, here we go. Shooting out. Can you see it? I call it steam ejected water. It's shooting right out. Look over here. That's steam coming out of my steam kettle. Shooting right out. Come over here. Look right down in here. I'm underwater here. Here it comes, it's shooting right out. Don't know if you can see the disturbance. That's it. All this goes into experimental. Regular tap water right into freaking the control. I'll see you right outside watering my plants. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll tell you about the properties. Because there's a difference of steam versus liquid. And it's in the molecular structure. Over and out. All right, here are both greenhouses. Experimental, the first one, second one, control one. Spray all the plants, water them there. See over here. That's the control one, gonna water all those. That's it, nothing more, nothing less. Tomorrow I'll talk about the properties of steam versus liquid. See you later.